friends, welcome back to my channel. We have a long overdue finale for my project samples. I was really plugging away at these and then I put them all into a box and forgot about them until I was starting to like pull out stuff to film today. So let's go ahead and show you where I ended up. I have everything except for one sample used, which I'm really, really happy with. So I'll go ahead and just show you what I have whittled my way through. First thing I have is the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Balm to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. This was really weird. The instructions say that you're supposed to like put it into your hands and mix it up and it will liquefy. This, I don't know if it just, I've had the sample for a while and it's gone bad or if it doesn't actually ever really work, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Maybe you can see like the little tiny balls of product right there but it never fully like liquefied. So I put it in my hair and it like had like chunks and it just didn't look good. And then my hair seemed really like heavy afterwards. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend this. This sample didn't make me wanna go do a pre-shampoo. It's also a really long time. You have to wait 15 to 20 minutes after putting this stuff in before you can shower. And it just felt too messy for me to be able to do anything during that time. So I'm not a fan of that. Um, I also managed to finally use up the three-step Ole Hendrickson uh, Truth Glow Polishing Mask, the 25% Vitamin C Concentrate Step 2, and the Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. This was very luxurious and I did enjoy it, but all in all, it's like a 30-minute process to do all three steps and I just don't have the kind of life or patience to do that on a consistent basis so even though this was nice to do as a one-time sample and I definitely think it would have good impact on your skin I just don't have the patience or tolerance for that kind of timetable and that many steps so I wouldn't buy it I also used up the glam glow dream duo overnight transforming treatment um, step one which is the serum and step two which is the seal this was fine but I don't have the skincare needs that would warrant one something this expensive and two, this like multiple step overnight mask. I find the Sephora overnight masks um, just as effective and they're a fraction of the cost and they last a really long time. So I probably would go that route versus going this one. Um, I also use the Professional Matte Rescue Break-In Pore Emergency like mattifying gel. It took me a while to figure out what this was used for, but essentially it's it's your last step after your moisturizer and before you go to either put makeup on or if you're not going to put any makeup on, just like the last thing you do before you, you know, go about your day. And the goal is to help mattify your skin. This definitely had an impact on me. I am not incredibly oily, so I think my skin responded pretty well to it. It didn't totally suck the life out of my face, but it definitely did prevent some oil from building up in the, you know, warmer summer months. I don't know if it would be as effective if you are incredibly oily, but definitely something that I think I might look into next summer using underneath my makeup just because I think it would really help combat a lot of the humidity that I experience here in the northeast part of the country. I have the sample BFF from Perfectly Posh which was a uh, exfoliator. This to me um, I didn't find to be super effective as an exfoliator. Again I think there are a lot of drugstore or really comparable types of products like this that wouldn't warrant me needing to get this particular one. And the last one that I finished up was the Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow. They, I think, have reformulated their eyeshadow since I got this sample, but these weren't super great. I also feel like trying out eyeshadow on a cardboard stock is really hard to do. Like, it's just not a well put together sample. It's not necessarily Sephora's fault. Anyone who does this, I don't think it's the greatest way to, you know, try out eyeshadows or the greatest platform for it, but, you know, they were pretty colors. I just didn't really enjoy working with them. So the last thing that I have that I didn't manage to use is the Plump Up the Volume 3D Filler Mask. This I think is just something that I have a little pot of it and then I also have this and I probably just want to use them together and I wasn't in like the mindset or mode to keep researching because a lot of these have sat as samples unused because they required me to do like some kind of research or to do like a little bit more examination and or more steps in my routine and I just like wasn't willing ever to do them until I really put my mind to it. So that's how I get to this one. I kind of was just like, ugh, I'm over it. We'll put it, you know, somewhere else and eventually I'll get to it. So all in all, I've really whittled down my samples and I feel really good about that. I only have maybe a few random ones left in my medicine cabinet. It. So I'm really happy I did this project. It definitely took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but it really was a nice purge and now I feel like I've really decluttered a bit more of my life and it feels really awesome. But that is it for me. I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.